I don't know, bro. Again, I just want to sleep. That's kind of what it's been every single fucking time. Because, I don't know. The day was going fine, and I was like, I have so much time. And then all of a sudden, boom, we gotta do this, boom, we gotta do this. So, the first half, you know, I almost dilly-dallied too much. Not almost, I did. Even though it felt like I still had so much time. Um, got out of the shower at like fucking seven. Didn't have much to do. It's now 11. Could have been so simple. I don't even know what I was doing the whole time. I was, oh, I was watching shit. I was eating. You know, I just like, you know, like. It'll take like 40 minutes to cook. Took like fucking 40 minutes to eat. So yeah, that's a big chunk of time. Yeah. One thing I'm grateful for is uh, baseball. I feel like I already said that. Yeah, I definitely already said that. One thing I'm grateful for is plates because plates are very important for food. Whether it's plastic or paper or ceramic or whatever else they're made of tin. Um, without plates, life would be a lot messier, right? And you don't need a bowl for everything, you know? Like, there's certain things you need a plate for, almost. Like, I don't know. I mean, if you're gonna eat, um, I don't know, meat, right? Imagine, like, trying to jam your knife in and then cut it with, like, the edge of the bowl there. Like, no. Like, plates are really important. It makes life a lot cleaner, less messy. Um, cleanup's also a lot easier. You know, if you have paper plates, you just throw them out. Or else you just scrape the food out, throw them in the sink. And yeah, I'm kind of wrecked. My upper body's gonna be fucked up tomorrow. Um, and Sam Sulek, I've never watched him, but I've seen a lot of clips of him. He seems like a funny dude. And his shit gets a lot of views, and I'm considering, like, watching his stuff. Because they've been recommended to me. He has, like, bulk day, day, whatever, or cut day, day, whatever. I want to see what he does. Because I feel like that's why a ton of people watch him. Because you can just so easily take what he puts out there and learn. So I want to see... I don't know, I just want to see if he even shows it. Your, your results after a cut, because I know like you lose some muscle, and then after. So, when you're at, fuck. So I'd want to know the results from his last cut, and then to the bulk, and then down to the cut. I want to know the differences and all that. And of course it's different for everybody, but I think the general shit. Like in general, like his general teachings would be useful. Um, so yeah, I was thinking of doing that. Um, yeah. I don't like to fidget with, well no, I, I like, I've always fidgeted with things when I talked. Um, depends, like, I used to go to therapy, I'd always fidget, there was, like, some cube, not, not, I don't even know how to explain it, it's, like, like, a big Jenga piece, but, like, the blocks move, right, but it only goes in, like, a straight line, like, you can't fucking, like, like, not like a Rubik's Cube, but, like, you can move the individual pieces and, they're like, triangular, so you could, like, make shapes and I'd always just fuck with that while I talk to her. And in the beginning videos, I'd always have like a pen in my hand. So yeah, I've always just been a fidgeter while I talk because sometimes eye contact is a bit weird to have to maintain. So yeah, that's kind of why I'm doing this. If it annoys you, I don't really care. But yeah, I sat down like the last four videos. So. It's a bit of a trend. I was like, why don't I stand up? On my broken ass fucking shins. Because of my shin splints. They've been better. Um, 
you know, I've been sprinting to get used to sprinting. So when I first started physical therapy, it had been like nine months since I had shin splints, but I thought resting would help. Apparently not. There was like a lot of muscles and shit weakened. So I urge you, if you have an injury like that, don't just like sit around and rest if it's been a while. Because like what would happen with me? I'd overdo it, but overdoing it back then would mean like walking a bit too much and then I'd feel it the next day and then it'd get worse and I'd be like, fuck, I'd have to restart everything all over again. I went to physical therapy. You know, I broke them because I started running, but I never ran before really. I had never been conditioned, never done sports, none of that, or I've really gotten to that point. So... Yeah, then nine months later, I get into physical therapy. I start running more. And, um, yeah, I was in the gym, and I actually stopped going to the gym for a while because of my shin splints. Um, from, like, February to this, like, late June. Mid-February to late June. So I took, like, four months off, which isn't the worst thing ever, but I shouldn't have. Um... Definitely in better shape now. And yeah, so it was really hard back then to run it all. And now I can run all the time. I still feel the pain, but it doesn't last the next day. If I like waited and stopped running on them, then I bet that the pain would go away. But yeah, I've been ramping it up. So I'm never really giving them time to fully rest. They're just getting stronger. Um, it's just a bunch of resting and all that, so I got used to running, and then I had to, I was walking my dog, and, um, and a dog got out of someone's house, and then I had to pick my dog up and run home, so, and then I, like, I was like, ooh, I can feel my legs, um, yeah, the dog chased after us, there was, like, a video on it, I made not too long ago, it's called, like, I got attacked while walk, walking my dog. Um, I don't think she's her shit. She knows the word, like W A L K. So I don't really like to say it when she's around, but she didn't notice, I guess. Um. So yeah, I was like, oh, it hurts to sprint. I got used to that too. I asked some questions, and he's like, yeah, sprint because you're using different muscles when you're sprinting. So I started sprinting, and yeah, it's been getting easier. The pain definitely isn't so bad as. There to the times not too long ago when I was sprinting. Um, I need to be more consistent. But I don't have, like, the most time in the world ever to do it. Because, um, college, the gym. Um, I'm trying not to, like, run on leg days. Like, they say, like, run earlier. But I kind of go to the gym a few hours after I wake up. So there really isn't, like, enough time. Well, there is, but, like, if I do a leg day, that's gonna affect performance, and, um, I mean, yeah, so I ran today, I ran yesterday, probably not gonna run, no, I'm definitely not gonna run tomorrow, um, because basically as soon as I wake up, I'm preparing for college, I wake up at 7.50, then I start to get ready. Well, like, I eat a little bit. Like, I do some things that I can get done before college. And then I get out at, like, 3.30. Or, no, 3, I get out by, like, 3.15. And then, yeah, I kind of just have everything else I got to get to. So, unless, like, I hustled a little bit. Then, yeah, running is kind of out of the question. Aren't I so good at catching this ball? Kind of. It's not crazy, but, I mean, I haven't dropped it all. I like how I don't really have to like look at where my hand is, like look, okay, it's a bit risky. When it's in front of me, like boom, it's kind of easy though. If it's like out of my like direct line of sight, it gets a bit harder. Yeah, I've always liked doing this, but yeah. Um, please find out, I know it's easier said than done. If you've never been a runner and you've never conditioned your legs before or anything like that, please don't just start running. You'll probably notice and, I mean, 
Because here's what I did it. I was like running for two weeks. I was trying to do it every day when I had more time on my hands. And the pain got so bad that mid run I walked home. So that's how I knew there was a problem. I thought I, I thought I was sore. Um until, you know, I kept running even though they hurt. Until it hurt so bad I stopped. Um So you'll know, right? Don't assume it's soreness. Um, especially if it feels more on like, I wish I could show you my leg. It's, okay. If you imagine that this is your calf, right? It's like, like this is like the shin bone, right? No, like, okay. Like this is the shin bone, right? Like the protruding part, you'd feel it like on the inside, like right there. That is shin swans. And I strongly urge you, don't keep running, right? Just take some time off, um, learn how to condition them. If anyone was curious, I do have a stretching routine for it, and it has literally fixed everything for me. It takes time, all right? Um, but you wanna do these immediately after a stretch, right? Like I said, if anyone's curious, I'd help you know, give you what I know. And it's about all you need, it's not a lot. Just do it after a run. Even if you don't run that day, do it. You can do it two times a day if you want. Um, and yeah, that's about it. That, you know, it's about all that it takes. I do like four stretches. Sometimes I do a fifth one. It's really simple stuff. You could do it in like 15 minutes. Um, and yeah, you should do it every day. Right, just because it's building strength in your, your legs. All the time in your in your legs your calves like those parts specifically that are used in running oh, fuck. Fucked up tomorrow. i've already talked about shin splints so many times before but it's like a new audience every day you don't know who you're gonna end up talking to so So every day when I start talking, I always have to just talk as if I'm talking to someone with dementia, you know, like just reintroduce things. I'll be more vague sometimes. I'll be like, I already talked about it at this video, like I did with the, the dog thingy. I was like, you can watch it there. It was called like, you know, whatever I said it was called. I've noticed because okay what the fuck was that <laughs> what is this bro yeah I don't know how that fell from there and landed on my foot bro. when I drink water on camera I don't know it's weird it's like one vein pops out more than the others I don't know probably like that one I mean, it's, it's not really, it's nothing special. Maybe it's because I'm tilting my head up, I don't know. I think I'm going to be sick tomorrow. I think I'm going to have a lung infection tomorrow. I've had it before. And when, when you have it, when you have them, you'll notice, like, small signs. Like, the day, like, I, like, I, I knew what I might have done, done the day before, so I was like, all right, so that's what it was, and I was running, and I could feel the tightness in my chest, because I have asthma, and, um, you know, I ran anyways, I was fine, but I was like, yeah, all right, um, and then today, I woke up, nose was kind of stuffy, like, blow my nose, I've had, like, a slight cough. still kind of feel like the tightness it's more like like here <clears throat> yeah um had lung infections before they're not nice 
but it's weird because at the same time like I want them it's like um to me it's like crying right it's been times when I haven't cried for a long time there's times where it's just like I don't even like really feel that sad but like I'm feeling down I'm like I just wish I could cry and then you actually start crying and then it's like fucking why did I wish for this it's terrible I hate it it's like that but you know getting sick is a bit different because I look at I look at it like you'll be less sick in the future the more sick you get now you know I, I like the idea of you know becoming more immune your immune system gets stronger because it's probably really good for you long term um like Steve-O I guess I saw something that said like he like barely gets sick anymore because all the shit he's done to his body <laughs> and yeah and also just I don't know I, I, I honestly don't know it's not even like the main reason I just want to be sick I don't fucking get it like it's an infection I mean like it sounds bad I like I know exactly what I do that makes it happen you know I think I explained it in another video it's not something I really want to say uh, yeah I know I said it in another video. you can go fucking dig it up if you want it's stupid as fuck so I'm not gonna say it cuz it's like embarrassing yeah a speech tomorrow my last speech I was a lot more anxious for and then I fucking smashed it. So now I'm like, um, I'm like not so anxious cause I was like, I already did it before and I did really good. And, um, so you know, it's, it's nothing you haven't done already. Like that stuff kind of just came natural to you as soon as you, you got in the, the, you know, as soon as you really put got used to it right just some anxiety beforehand but you got into it and knew exactly what you were doing but now i'm like under prepared as fuck so i'm kind of just like riding on some things happening tomorrow it's my chest sore no i hope you guys can't see my nipples i feel like you might probably not i'm gonna head out peace